Good morning. Welcome to Faith Walk. David the Psalmist writes in Psalms 3, Lord, how many are my foes? How many rise up against me? Many are saying of me, God will not deliver me. But you, Lord, are a shield around me, my glory, the one who lifts my head high. I call out to the Lord, and yes, he answers me from his holy mountain. I lie down and sleep. I wake up again because the Lord sustains me. I will not fear, though tens of thousands assail me on every side. Arise, O Lord. Deliver me, my God. Strike all my enemies on the jaw. Break the teeth of the wicked. From the Lord comes deliverance. May your blessing be on your people. In an article entitled Surviving Anxiety, published in The Atlantic, a young man named Scott describes his lifelong battle with fear. Scott was so anxious at his wedding that he swept through his clothes and had to lean on his bride in order to stay upright. When his first child was born, he passed out from fear. He said, I've abandoned dates, walked out of exams, and had breakdowns during job interviews, plane flights, train trips, and car rides, and simply walking down the street. Scott writes, On ordinary days, doing ordinary things, reading a book, lying down in bed, talking on the phone, sitting in a meeting, playing tennis, I have had thousands of times been stricken by a pervasive sense of dread and been beset by nausea, vertigo, shaking, and a panoply of other physical symptoms. Few things are as destructive to rest as fear. Today's psalm describes how David himself overcame his battle with fear, and that is by relying on God's power and protection. David describes a variety of circumstances that would normally be grounds for fear. Anxiety often causes us to magnify our problems instead of focusing on all the possible terrible things that could happen. But David chose to meditate on the blessings of God's presence. He was able to escape the anxiety of the present by focusing on how God had helped him in the past and what God had promised for the future. David knew he was in the safest possible place. Even in the midst of trouble, his life was hidden in God. He expected the Lord to look out for his interest. He also knew that the Lord would accomplish his good purpose. Now this doesn't mean that he expected his troubles to vanish. The psalm concludes with a resolve to wait for the Lord. Waiting for God is hard, isn't it? Especially when problems seem to be growing. One of the challenges when dealing with anxiety is that God often seems to be silent during these times. Follow David's example in this psalm. Remember what God has already done for you in the past. How many blessings we've had over and over. Remind you of what God has promised. Be resolute in your confidence in Him. In a song that we sing written by Roy Nolan, it says, He is able more than able to accomplish what concerns me today. He is able, more than able, to handle anything that comes my way. He is able, more than able, to do much more than I could ever dream. He is able, more than able, to make me what He wants me to be. Let us bow and pray, please. Dear God in heaven, we thank You for this day You've given us. We thank You that You are interested in our well-being, that you are doing the things that will, behind the scenes perhaps, that will help us in the future. Help us to remember what you've done in the past and help us to look for the future and look for one day being with you eternally. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.